Black Science T111, Osaka 4. I'm back at y'all again. Um, today is my born day, meaning that I'm celebrating my death date in my past life, which is my life date here on this, what we call Earth Realm. Um, I'm coming to warn a few people. The majority of people on what we call this Earth, you all are magnetically attracted enemies that you knew from a past life. You all are attracting enemies that you knew from a past life because we have a new moon that is now coming in that's being dropped off from the galaxy of the unknown. The galaxy of the unknown, which is near those, uh, what we call wormholes, um, which are vacuums to suck in certain souls that hasn't got it together yet, the one that is coming back. So they are using those reincarnated souls which is coming back, those people that did not finish their journey or destiny on this realm, they're using those souls to um, insert their perceptions to create their destiny early. And what they're doing is they're coming back to try to pay back people who murdered them in their past life. So you have a lot of rebellious souls coming in looking for their enemies that murdered them in a past life. Therefore, now we have moons passing by, dropping off souls that are enemies to the majority of people here in a past life. So a lot of y'all sleeping with y'all enemies don't know. A lot of y'all giving birth to y'all enemies that don't know. A lot of y'all get into relationships with your enemies and don't know why your relationship ain't so peachy green. The reason why is because the perception of what we call America is telling you that through the religious aspect of things that you have to try to work on things in your relationship not knowing that this is where they trap you. You see, there are other eyes inside of our soul. And these eyes are closed once we become six years old. Once we, once we become six years old, those eyes close. These are the eyes that allow us to see what we call so-called angels. We are babies. And so when you see your child smiling in their crib and things like that, they see certain things that we don't understand. Things that at one time we were in tune with. Things that the birds and the plants and the trees can still hear and see that we can't hear and see no more because we have become in tune with an illusionary realm, right? that has uploaded in our soul a perception, which we have made a reality, and the beings that live on this realm that cannot go beyond the third dimension is actually benefiting from our ignorance of this artificial reality.